And the final area requiring a different lubricant, different from the caliper pin, different from the brake pad, is the caliper brake clip where the brake pads sit, sometimes called shims. Over time, because of the lack of movement in a caliper, the pads will corrode, especially if there is salt on the road. If the pads are corroded in the clips, the brake has to work harder to squeeze the brake pads against the brake disc because they've got to overcome this resistance. If you are knocking out your brake pads with a hammer each time you change them, it means your pads are corroded into the clips and your brakes are working sub-optimally because some of the power is being used to force the pads against this resistance here. The answer is to use a lubricant. The lubricant qualities required here are different for a caliper pin and different from a brake pad. Here you need a product which is very high resistance to wash out, a powerful anti-corrosion properties and a high quality base oil. Pro slip clip has been designed with these properties in mind. It is not suitable for the brake pads and it's not suitable for caliper pins. If you put it here, it will resist washout. It has a dry component, which means that once the base oil has left, which invariably it will do, sitting there for months on end, and you go to the jet wash and blast your brakes you will be left nevertheless with the dry component. Any brake grist you see sold on the market which doesn't have a dry component, and invariably they are dark grey or black in colour, cannot be used either on the brake pads or on the brake clip. Again, that is why there are three tubes in this pack, three lubrication points, three different lubricants. Any grease sold, such as Mintec Ceratec, as a brake grease, cannot be used as a universal grease, because it cannot possess all of the properties required of all three lubrication points.